up, everybody? Your host, AMF1534, here, and let's play some more Condemned Criminal Origins. And this is the shady aftermath of me after an energy supplement. Ugh. Remind me to not do that ever again. I mean, my god, it was definitely hilarious while it was going on, but let me tell you, directly after that video was over, I definitely threw up all over the place. And it was not fun. But anyways, let's move along now. Now that we have made it to the Metro Station Library. For those of you that are just tuning in, let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what's happening here. Um, besides getting this bird on this counter. It's disgusting. Um, anyways, we were chased out of Bart's department store where we found a very major lead in this case. Of which that lead is, there's a serial killer that's out killing other serial killers. For what he's being referred to right now is um, Serial Killer X. So, what we're trying to do is we're trying to, God forbid why we would do this, we're trying to save a serial killer in order to track down the other one. So, it's all bad. And we're being pursued by the FBI because, you know, we're being wrongfully accused of killing someone. And so what we're trying to do now is we're trying to meet up with Rosa, our FBI technician, the only person left in the bureau that will actually still communicate with us because she's the, pretty much the only person that believes that we didn't do anything so the only place that we found safe to meet was in this library and apparently it's closed down or I don't really know what the deal is with it but we gotta go find her so that we shall do uh oh oh no no what's what the fuck why would an elevator take me to a train who the hell is that? Is that Rosa? Ah! Ugh. She just turned into a bunch of rats. What the hell? Okay. Get a hold of yourself, Thomas. There's no way that an elevator in a library could take you to a train. Oh, great. This is where it's all going to get real. I just know it. Now we got the gang markings on the wall where all the tweakers are at. Gotta stay on your heels. So obviously we need a crowbar. I don't know where the hell it is, but there seems to be quite a few doors that need it. So I feel like once we find that, we're gonna be moving along here. Just not gonna be going through there. Where the hell is this Rosa lady, anyways? Mm -hmm. Apparently it's 512. Uh, I would guess in the morning since we're in that back alley in the middle of the night. Unless it gets dark really early over here. Back safety. Your back is in serious danger if you're in this library. For whatever that's worth. Um, anything in here? I would assume not. That's the circulation room by Janet Drummond. And Edna Rook. I wonder if those are like names of producers. Hey! Thomas! Thomas, over here! Oh, there she is. This might not have been a good idea. Squatters and addicts have moved in, and they don't like company. Come this way. I have something to show you. I used my security clearance to do a little checking up on you. I found this folder in your supplemental personnel file. Okay. So what's going on here? During your last physical, they found several abnormalities. For starters, your bone and muscle densities are off the chart. You have a reputation for being tough, but who knew? You also have a hyperactive serotonergic system in the brain. What that means, I have no idea. And lastly, there's a chest x-ray that's been redacted. Redacted? Yeah, right where your esophagus and larynx are. Someone's blacked out the x-ray and added the notation, C subjects PR-56. A PR-56 is a special addendum to a personnel record and yours is classified black. That's pretty top-level security, way beyond either you or me. Our government is awfully interested in you. I didn't know. Well, now you do. Maybe I shouldn't have told you, but there it is. Oh, and I also left something there on the counter for you. Popular modification to the standard taser. Awesome, we have a new taser now. And apparently we're also completely a freak of nature. Diet Squish. 
Uh, I love that. Diet Squish. Because they didn't want to break the law. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Who the fuck is this guy? Jeez, Thomas, you okay? You look like you were about to faint there. Come on, let's get this over with. That was really creepy. Scavengers looking for parts to sell. Or just maniacs destroying things. We have to find a terminal that isn't damaged. Find an Hello. undamaged computer terminal. Looks like someone left the master key in the lock. You search this office. I'll take that one over there. Look for a computer that's in working order. Okay. Alright, so we have... Abnormal. Oh my god, we got a paper cutter? That's sick. So apparently what we got here is Thomas has a lot of serotonin in his system, which makes him completely awesome. Grab a desk drawer? No way. It's definitely not nearly as cool as this paper cutter, though. It's definitely... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell's going on? Why did it get all weird like that? Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, no. We stumbled into the wrong thing at the wrong time. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Why is everybody disappearing like that? What the fuck is going on? Alright, this definitely is no longer your run-of-the-mill library. Not at all. We got people phasing through the ceilings, and we got people disappearing for no apparent reason at all. I'm definitely not a big fan of this place right now. Ah! I yes. told you we weren't alone. Come on, I found a working computer. Thank you, Rosa. It's a good thing that I wasn't, you know, right in front of that window, because that wouldn't have felt very good, I'm sure. Hmm. Of course she'd find the working one. It's a search engine specific to the library. Just type in the torturer's name, and we should get the latest info from the local news, including broadcast feeds. Okie dokie. Let's, let's have a seat here. Damn it. Can anything else go wrong? We'll have to find the server room and get the network. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I can hear the weird noise. Where'd she go? Rosa, where have you gone now? <laughs> oh no. Ah! Uh oh. Oh shit. What the hell? God, this place is fucked up. There's just nothing okay. Rosa! Rosa! Are you there? Oh shit. Rosa's been abducted by, I'm assuming, probably that guy that was, you know, getting all up in our grill way in the beginning of this game. So now we gotta go find her? God damn it. As if it wasn't bad enough trying to deal with everybody else. Now we gotta go find her? Great. Just great. I mean, at least we're armed with probably the best weapon we could possibly have at this point. Government publications. Not going to be going in there just yet. Apparently not a single minute has gone by. According to that clock, at least. Give me that bird. Two birds. And a random book return slot. And a place where a crowbar could be used. Who knew? Man, we're going to be putting in a lot of work with that thing here pretty soon. Oh, boy. And that looks like a place where a fire axe can be used. What's going on? Finding organic evidence somewhere. Where would I? Right there. But what is it? That's Rose's phone right there. Oh shit. This is Rosa. I'm out of the lab at present, but we'll return shortly. In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored. Thank you. Well, yeah, obviously she's... N yeah, it's 
right there. I gotta find a way in. Uh oh. Well, that's gonna be our way in. Bring it on. Super taser! Wow. This taser's got some real kick to it. I knocked that guy right off of his feet. Okay, the question is, what's down here? I wanna see what's down here first before I go in there. Can't go in there, in the information services room. Ooh. But, there's a metal piece here. Whenever you see those eyes and other related things. There was a bird on that one, that was kinda weird. Alright. Let's go in. Paper cutter in hand. Bring it on, bitch. I'm gonna take my pills first. Maybe go over here. Just wanna find a safer way around this. But then again, I really need that fire axe. So bring it on. Wow. That is an impressive, impressive taser, I must say. The things that I would do to have that thing at my disposal at all times. And where the hell did that guy with the freaking fire axe go? What the shit? You will not keep me from it. I will find it. I am more intuitive than that. Dun 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 no. Where the hell are you? I would assume that you're not there, but probably through here. Alright, buddy. Quiet study area. Wah. He's gonna waste all the damn bullets. How many bullets are in here? One bullet. Just one. Oh, no you don't. I only shot him in the back of the knee, but I guess that was enough to kill him. Then again, that would hurt really bad. I mean, that would be probably enough for me. Not gonna go in there. Not gonna go in there. But we are gonna do some serious work here in just a moment, I feel like. Move object. Ooh, there's a bird right there. I don't know how birds are getting in here. This is an enclosed area, nonetheless. There are a lot of paper cutters in here. One could do some serious cutting with that. Um, ooh. Hello. Bing bong, hello. There's only two of these, but I can definitely grab another paper cutter off of anything, pretty much. Where is that... Where is that guy with that godforsaken paper cutter? There he is. I see ya. I see ya. You're not gonna get away from me anymore. You're backed into a corner. Ooh, it's gonna be gunfight time. Hehehehe. <laughs> uh, where's the other one? There he is. Yeah. Oh my dear God. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you're dead now, bitch. I'd take that pump shotgun, but I can't use it right now. I mean, I probably could, but... Fuck. God, this place is getting ridiculous right now. Purely, purely ridiculous. Okay. We just gotta... stay safe at the moment. Um... Okay. Are we all the way back at the beginning of this room? I guess we might be. Went in a giant circle. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, get the hell out of here. Yeah. I mean, realistically, I could probably use this taser on every single person I come in contact with for the rest of the game. But that would, like, take away a lot of the fun. Because I could literally just hit him once with that, and he would pretty much be done. Guy is an absolute terrible shot. Now, where's this other room that I need to use this on? It's right over here. Yeehaw. Time to break our way in! Alright, baby. 
Oh no. Oh, here we go. Um, organic evidence glows the bright, bright purple. But where is that evidence? Somewhere. Ooh. Actually, hold the phone on that for a moment. I do need some pills. Yeah, there's gonna be something back here. Maybe not. Um. Let's see. Where would that organic evidence be? One would think it would be around here somewhere. I am not necessarily finding anything. Um. 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 I don't know where it is. There it is. There we go. What have we? This is Rosa. I'm out of the lab at present, but we'll return shortly. In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored. Thank you. I don't know who the hell was storing a crowbar in here, but I'll take it. Oh no. Upstairs, rare books cage. There's terminal activity in rare books, it may be Rosa. Indeed it may be. Well, now we have our crowbar. Now we just have to find our way up to the rare books area and use it. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to do that right now, so... On the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, the search for Rosa is still on. So, at least we have a better weapon to do it with. This is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. You guys have a good one. Bye.